they are all doing. Right then, let's get on with the front brake. This is not a Triumph. That's the cylinder or reservoir. So I've got this one. And yes, I don't know if you can see that, it's got the smiley face on. And it says Triumph. 15 of your finest British pounds. And free postage. Yeah, Johnny, but the brake lever's bent. Don't worry, this one isn't. Okay, so the first thing we're going to try and do is get this little Callum, Callum key, Allen key, undone. Let's see how hard these are. Allen key. Oh. Oh, well, that's going pretty easy. I think that's it. Should be able to pull it out now. Yes, it's got grease on the threads. Right, let's try the other side. Okay, this is the other side, and this has got the uh, dust cap missing as well. Let's see if this one's nice and loose. This is two hands, so I'll use this as an extension bar. Put that back in there. Put that on there. And hopefully we can turn it without ruining anything. Oh yes. It's going, Mama. You know you want to. Now this one don't want to come out, does it? At least I've got it undone. Right, we'll leave that one like that for now because it is out and I don't want to uh, damage it by trying to force it out with the allen key. So now we need about, what's that, 12, 13 mil? 13 mil, nope. 12 mil, yep. Come on. That's 12 mil as well. that one. It was on there solid. Where's my rubber hammer? Ah, that's got it. Front brake pads don't look so good. Oh, I don't know that. They don't look too bad. Can we get that one out without uh, taking the pin out? Yes, we can. Yes, that one don't look so good. It's got plenty of life left in it, I suppose. I'll check out on eBay, see how much they are. And if they're a stupid price, these are going back in for now. Right then, can we get this pin out now? Come on, you know you want to. There we go. Not as bad as the back ones. You could see in there. All the cobwebs and uh, rusty, only rusty on the lips. So hopefully these pistons are going to be okay as well. Let's pump about a bit. Let's see if we can clean them up. Yeah, they look pretty good. Let's see if we can get this one undone. Uh, they're the star bolts. 
torques, bolts, or whatever they're bloody called. So any of these fit. Too big. Oh yes. Oh my god. Don't buy tools from Lidl's. I don't know what happened to that, I'm sure. Let's try that end. Put you down there so you're not just looking at my scarry hand. Oh, you're not going to go, are you? Okay, so I've found this and this. Hopefully, it's going to undo this. Oh, what? Come on, baby. There we go. There it is. Okay, so I'm just going to use soapy water on this front one because it looks in pretty good nick. I don't want to use any solvents and uh, ruin the seals at the back. So I'm just going to clean them up with some soapy water. That's just a nylon brush, not a wire brush. As you can see they look pretty good. So let me get all the rest of this crap out and I'll be back in a bit. Okay so I've had a bit of an accident. Uh, I got this piston all the way out, cleaned it, pushed it back in, went in fairly easy. Then I got this piston out, cleaned it, then went to push it back in, it went in, whoosh. And that one shot out <laughs> but the rubbers do look pretty good in there as I thought so I'm gonna to have to clean this one up now it's out push it back in pump the brakes up again and hopefully get that one back out so let me do that and I'll be back in a bit okay so there's both pistons back in safe and sound this floating fixing bar on the uh, pins it come out quite easy but I didn't show you on camera I just want to clean it up and I'll put that back in and then when I've done that I'll be back So what I've been doing for the past half hour is try to pump these pistons back out on the other side. Build the reservoir up again. Been pumping for half, three quarters of an hour at least. Nothing. So we're going to get this one off and put the uh, replacement water on which is over there. Okay, so we've got the reservoir empty again. So what we're going to do is get this hand guard off. H6 Allen key on the top. 10 mil bolt on the bottom I'm sure yep 10 mil uh, lefty loosened there's the nut there's the oversized bolt it should just come off now yep lever should come off as well is a bit bent on the shaft there so hopefully we can straighten that so a little touch put some cloths around here 
now leakage onto our paintwork. Trying to prep this 14mm banjo bolt. There we go. Put this bloody thing on four in the way. I'll go down at the way. That's better. I've noticed on the Triumph Reservoir that uh, this fixing point is on the front. So, we might have a bit of a trouble trying to turn those round, I don't know. Well, I'll have to wait and see. Is that the right Allen key? Yep. There we go, I've got another mirror bracket, look. I'm collecting these. Got to undo my uh, little brake electrical wires. One, two, there we go. Right then, let's try the replacement one. We don't need the mirror bracket because it's already got the mirror bracket. Put these two wires on first. That's those on plate on which says up at the top put the bottom one in it looks a bit better doesn't it than the other one that's that on there bit overkill but don't know where my small adjustable is so what we should be able to do is put the screwdriver in there, turn that round so it's facing that way. Yep, that'll do. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I've moved you around a bit so now hopefully you can see what the hell is going on. I've done is undone that little nut on the top because obviously it was that way and now it wants to be that way so we get that in that position tighten that back up so that's that one do this one Well, that's in the uh, right position. Tighten it back up. There we go. Then, if we put that one on, that one's got a bit of a bend on it, so that one in the straight one the washer back on get the other washer put that on there put the other washer back on there and hopefully should be perfect. I think catch it. Woo now hopefully we can get the cap off. Oh, the screws look quite good. It does look quite good actually the caliper is just bought from that bit there. Can't rumble for 15 quid. Uh, yes that's loose. 
Yes, they're pretty loose. Pretty log as well. A little tap. Come on, you bugger. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. All over everything again. Got more brake fluid on the uh, paintwork than what's in the reservoir. Cool, look at that. Bear in mind, I've only just took the cap off for the very first time. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That's brand new. Oh my god. Right, let's top it up. Cool, oh, getting, getting low on brake fluid with all this bloody. Try to pump brakes. There we go. Is that going to shoot a what's it up? Yeah. You can see some bubbles coming up, look. So now we've got that one. Let me carry on bleeding and trying to get those pistons out. Okay, it took a while, but I have got the uh, pressure back up. Cleaned both pistons, they look all nice and good. But uh, I actually bled the brakes in a way I've never done before. What I was doing was just tickling the brake lever. It's not going to do it now because all the air is gone. I was just tickling the brake lever like that and then pumping it hard. Because while I was tickling it, loads of air bubbles were coming up. And I kept moving down the bars from side to side and the bubbles kept coming up. And then eventually, I got pressure on the lever. Is that weird or has that sort of thing done been done before? I've never ever bled a brake like that. Right then, that's all the brake calipers back on, all cleaned up, all greased up, all ready to get bleeding. So let's get bleeding. So let's get this reservoir top top. Oops, not too much. I'm just using this stuff. I think I got it from Wilco's or somewhere like that. Okay, so we all know the drill. First we pump the brake. Ooh. That's got pressure there already, look, I can't pull it all the way back. <laughs> okay, so let's pump the lever. Hold it in as hard as we can. Under the nipple. <laughs> oh yes, some of the walls came out there. One small, pump the brake. Hold the lever in, under the nipple. Oh, yeah, that side looks good. Let's go and do the other side. But before I even do the other side, that is a pretty good brake. Okay, let's do the other side. Pump in the brake. Hold the brake in, under the nipple. Hold the lever in. Some more air bubbles coming out. One more go. Brake lever does feel pretty solid. 
slowly under the nipple, keep the pressure on. Oh yes, I think that will do. No ear bubbles in there. I think you'll agree that break is pretty solid. <laughs> Let me get the cap back on and then we'll work out a way to try and spin the front wheel. Okay then, let's try it. There is a bit of a step on the floor down there, so it's going to be a bit odd to push it forward to get it over it. As you can see, it's moving freely. I could pull the brake, but it's still moving freely. Just get it over that bump, get over. There we go. That's it. as I can and it's still moving nice and free yes I'm chuffed with that 15 quid 15 pound Where can you buy a proper Triumph port for 15 quid? <laughs> oh, perfectly splendid. 15 quid. I'm well happy with that. Okay, so there it is, all buttoned up, but it didn't quite go to plan as I was expecting. Let me show you what went wrong. Basically, these adjustable finger reach brake levers are too fat for my hand guards. So this is the only one I could find without the adjuster on it, but it is snapped. But they are £12 on eBay, so I will be sourcing one of those and it will be in black to match the clutch lever. When I tighten the hand guard up, everything seemed all fine. But just deep inside there, this cover was pressing on the brake slightly, holding it in like that. Which means the brake light switch wouldn't go off. I did try to file the hole a little bit bigger, but uh, no success. Ed's put in that one on and now it is fine. Switch the ignition on, put you down here at the back. Oop, press the front brake. Perfect. That's me pressing the front brake. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, till pressing. Yes, there's always something goes wrong at the end, but uh, I'm still very happy with what I've achieved with the back brake as well, both working perfect. So that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And on that note, I'll see you in another life, brother. Keep on keeping on. <laughs>